Well, hello, and welcome to episode two of Bayside Brew. I have next to me the legend around these parts of Compass, Harold Noriega. Harold, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Wow, what an honor and a treat it is to have you on this unplugged show. Wow, it's 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 amazing to be here. And oh my god! I'm gosh. so thankful and grateful. Yes, that yes. you would consider having me. Yes. Oh, absolutely. You were top of the list for sure. Well, I know that you need to have a lot of filler. Sure. You so, know this. We could consider this B-roll almost. No, no, no. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not hoping to get my sack hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, we'll but see. You never know. I'm gonna who's submit gonna what this? I can. You never know. I mean, everyone's always looking. This could be the beginning of a new career. It could very well be. Anyway, we have Harold here. Really, just want to kind of get to know him and his business a little bit more. Um, have you guys, the audience, the viewers at home, get to know Harold at a deeper level, personally, professionally. So, kicking it right off. How long have you been in real estate and what did you do before you came into real estate? So I've been in real estate now a little over 20 years. Okay. And what I did prior to that, I owned a commercial finance company here in Orange County. Mm. I had that for over 20 years wow. and then sold it. But while I was in the process of selling it and it was you know, being acquired, um, I got involved in residential real estate. My introduction was helping a neighbor where I live in Emerald Bay Help him, I helped him to complete a spec property he was developing. Mm. And I liked it. And I thought, this is really interesting. So as I was exiting out, I was kind of getting involved with this project. And it led me into the world of, well, actually, people started reaching out to me and said, how would, would you represent me in a buy or, or, or sell? And I thought, you mean like an agent? Mm. And I never really thought about that. But it just kind of uh, evolved towards that. and. Um, I started doing real estate. So business kind of came to you and that was the, yeah. the start of it. Yes. And you've been rolling ever since. Well, it was kind of a natural fit. I live in this community in, in uh, Laguna called Emerald Bay. Okay. So since I, I'm, this is going to be our 40th year in the community. Wow. So with the fact that I already knew the neighborhood, uh, yeah, I knew everybody in it, I knew all the aspects about it, and I was interested in real estate, it was a good fit for me because it was a built-in uh, market niche. For yep, yep. And so um, I approached it as a business and um, it's been a lot of fun ever since. I love it. Yeah. I love it. <clears throat> what would you say has been the, the highlight of your career? So in these 20 years, do you have a number one highlight that you can think of for yourself? You know, it's a tough question because there's been a lot of different things. Okay. But I would say, um, I think the highlight for the last 20 years of real estate was for me has been the uh, development of the team that I'm associated with. So I didn't set out to create a team, but people asked if they can work with me and like learn about real estate and and uh, to uh, as like a mentor. Mm. So it eventually came to the development of a real estate team. Yeah. And so we have four other agents that work with me, and the highlight has been from all different walks of life age demographics is watching them learn and build their own successful businesses mm, that has been good. very rewarding yeah and if i had to do it over again i think i would have done it sooner okay so that actually leads me to another question so if you could rewind the clocks and go back to day one of your real estate mm -hmm. journey is there any advice that you'd go back and tell yourself on how to do something, how to do something differently? Like what advice would you give yourself if you were to turn the clock back? Well, back then, you know, 20 plus years ago, it was finding the right real estate mentor. Okay. Someone that you have the same type of cultural values and ethical values and uh, worldview of business. And then with somebody who's been in that industry and learned whatever you could from them. But today that's changed. I think what I would advise myself or anybody today, be associated with a team mm -hmm. where it's the culture of the team, the culture and the ethics of the leader, the maturity, and how does the world outlook like? Is it something that lines up with how you uh, would do, conduct your business? Sure. An example being, there are some folks out there that believe the end justifies the mean. Mm -hmm. We're more of a mean, driven by the mean, we're client-centered, if we're not looking at the commission as the goal, we're looking at doing the right job as a goal, and as a reward, you make money. And so we're client 
focused more than anything else. So I'd say be with the team, find that right um, uh, team leader that resonates with you, and um, learn what, be 100% all in, and learn everything you can. I love it. That is some great wisdom. Looks like we're out of time. Harold, thank you so much for joining us. That five minutes went very, wait, very wait, quick. Wait. That's only five minutes. Okay. That was it. So we might try this again. We might just roll well, with it. We could do part two. We could. We could. So that just means you got to tune in next time. But hey, thank you so much for joining on this episode of Bayside Brew. I know it was quick. I know it was a lot. But hopefully you guys get to know Harold a little bit more. Hit him up. Ask him out to coffee. Get to know his story a little Hit bit more. Up. Yeah. That's what the cool kids are saying. Hey, I'm always, my door's always open. Always <laughs> willing to talk to anybody. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank we'll you. see you guys next time for episode three.